Hello, welcome again to another video on some Dutch Wargamer. Today I'm playing against Jomar again, and um, I'm playing Gord as usual. You're going to? Play Corn. Corn. Uh, that should be interesting. Um, I'm going to play three types of armies, uh, three types of um, regiments. I'm going to play Legions, like you've seen before. I'm going to play my Hell Armor again with uh, Talarn Tricks, and I'm going to play Ketachan. Uh, which you've also seen before, so I'm, I'm mixing it up a bit and let's see what, it, what it's going to do. You have seen tactics, it's a bit of deep strike, a bit of um, heavy shit, and yeah, get a chance, I love them. I'm playing a Cast Test Race, uh, Will Peters, in Form Circus, of course, in Rhinos, and um, the Telling the Dex Handle, uh, Sailor Demons, pretty uh, uh, groups of blood layers, one with 17, two with 10. Um, blood turns are of insane range, got some love model. Um, blood master, it's a nice model, yeah. Um, always close combat. Yeah, uh, I've, I've seen the army already. Uh, we're going to go the armies in a bit, and yeah, uh, you'll see after, after this part. We're going to play the mission uh, Contact Last with um, it's a maelstrom mission, so we're going to play with objectives. And Contact Last is a mission that uh, you get um, uh, an objective for every objective marker you control, and you can get up to six objecti objectives every turn, up to uh, up to a maximum of six for every uh, marker you have. Um, yeah, that's about it. Let's let's go with the armies, and I'll post some pictures also because uh, this is the second time we play at our new uh, location for the club, and we play every Thursday. Yes, yeah, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. In in Harlem, uh, the club is called War Dice. So if you want to play also on Thursday evening, just go ahead, uh, visit us on Facebook, and uh, we'll see you guys uh, Thursday night in in our local game club. So let's go for go over my army. I'm going to play the Ketachans and they're going to be with three company commanders. I have I have one and then five infantry squads, so that makes a total of six, just stock. Um, the Elysians are going to consist of four special weapon squads and two company commanders. And the Ketachans are also with uh, the uh, brigade is also with uh, three scout sentinels, two wyverns and a manticore. And my Talarn detachment is going to consist of the Hellhammer, two from our strikers and Yorick. For the elites, for the catch chance, I have one tech free engine seer, there's Harker and an astropath. Let's go over the army for the cornets. Like Yomar already said, he has a lot of close combat stuff. The uh, combat triggers are probably going into the rhinos. We have a demon over there. Some blood letters, some hounds, or wh whatever they are called. And the Moller Fiend over there. Yeah, thank you. Then we have two champions, sorcerers, whatever. Uh, a Dark Apostle and an Exalted Champion, and we'll, we're going to see what uh, they're going to do. I'm going to play with the Warlord trait of the uh, Grand Strategist, and the relics I'm going to use is the one that I can get uh, command points back from uh, the ones that Yarmar is going to use, and the other one is that I can do extra orders, the relic. So. You're going to see what, what they're going to do. The relic that Yomar is going to use is on his uh, Demon of Corn, and he, he has the 4 up Invulnerable and the 5 up Feel No Pain. 6 up Feel No Pain, Warlord Trade. That's it. So, 
Uh, the, we rolled already for a mission. Let's see which uh, t uh, who is going to roll first. Uh, roll first for the objectives, and we'll get back to you afterwards. Is that a one or a six? Ah, uh, that's the one. So I can place the first objective. That means that Yomar can deploy his army, uh, the first unit first. Okay, our deployment is as follows. We have the bit of triangle deployments over here and over here. Uh, and I have some stuff in deep strike. Uh, my legions are in deep strike. The Hellhammer is in deep strike because of Talarn tricks. And everything of Yomar is almost on the battlefield. Those guys are in deep strike also. He used some command points for it. Then I have, so I have an infantry line and some scout sentinels to gain advantage uh, with uh, deep strike bubble and to gain some uh, points on the battlefield. Then I have a bit of artillery here, a bit of artillery here, and let's see if we can fend off these guys in the turn one. I think we're going to do roll off for the first turn, so we're going to Yomar. Yomar, we're going to do the roll off for the first turn. Yeah, come on. You've deployed ver first, obviously. That's a one. One, two. I've got two. Ah, how can? Oh no, now nah, let's seize this. Nope. No, no, see. So that's turn one for the corn berserkers and the, the corn thing demons. Bah. Okay, let's go to first turn and we'll get to you uh, get back to you afterwards. Corns in their first turn, they moved up and these guys deep strike in. Uh, with a 3d6 roll, they didn't make it even with a reroll. So that's quite astonishing. I don't mind though. Um, then all the hounds moved up, the rhino, Mollerfiend, this guy, the Molester Sentinel that was here and pulled these guys into close combat. The hounds also moved up, uh, then some. Other guys here, and let's see what I can do in my turn one. In the guardsman turn one, I had one hell of a shooting phase. Uh, all the small weapons fire did a lot of damage. I had a lot of hits and the big guns didn't do that much. So that evens it out. But the small arms fire had a lot of units uh, a bit decimated to, uh, to almost nothing. There's a lot that can do damage now in this turn. And the unit was, uh, that was over here is also uh, killed by the wyverns. Uh, then again, I had some Elysians over there. They, I did a lot of orders, but I forgot to order the Elysians. So with the overcharge, they killed themselves and the other guys run away. So there's only one Elysian and a company commander there. And here there's a bit left. I need to do a morale check for one squad. They lost two guys. With four makes six, and they're good because the leadership is six of the special of the yeah special weapon squad. So let's see what the corns can do in their turn two. At the end of the turn of the corn, corn berserkers and corn demons and that kind of stuff, they killed some stuff. Um, killed one guy here. They killed an infantry squad here. M3 squad here is still standing, including company commander and astropath. Then uh, the tech priest engines here, here is killed. The Elysians there got removed from the map. So it was a good close combat phase of the of the corns. Let's see what the guard can do in their turn two. In the guard turn two, they wrecked Havoc also in uh, their shooting and their close combat phase. Uh, what happened was uh, the blood ladder sergeant thingy, I don't know what it's called, but 
Blood Master. I uh, got killed here uh, in the psychic phase. The group of hounds here uh, got charged eventually by the Hellhammer. The Hellhammer in his turn uh, moved up, did advance, did shoot down the, um, the demon over here and then uh, then charged with the crush them stratagem and killed the, the hounds over there. Yarek killed some hounds also. Uh, some hounds here were killed with the with these guys, these guys used uh, the Grenadier Stratagem. And the Corn Berserkers over here got decimated to just one, so I killed seven. So that was a good turn for the guard, and I didn't score any objectives. Yalmar uh, has a lot of objectives every turn, so he is going to take a lot of objectives. And in points, I got one point, and Yalmar has four five six and first blood seven points so that's one for me seven for yalmar so let's see how it turns out in the turn three the corns in their turn three uh they did yeah they did some wounds on the on the hellhammer they it, it is now on uh, 21 they're over here. Then they killed one guy in the shooting phase over here. Yorick has got one wound and the corn guy charged in and I used the grenadier stratagem and I obliterated him with, uh, with grenades. And that's about it what happened in the turn three. So let's see what the guard can do in, the, in their turn three. At the end of the guard turn number three, uh, we have still two champions over there or what they're called uh, one rhino over here and one rhino back there i scored one victory point so it makes two and you know slater warlord is three yomar is at three four five six and uh, first blood is seven three to seven and we are starting turn four i think if, the, if this keeps going this way, I need to table him because he will win points-wise. Let's see how, uh, how he will do in his turn 4. So, eventually in the turn 4, we did, we did put turn 5 uh, exactly behind it because in the end of turn 4, this guy he was the only one left on the battlefield of the Corn Force and i had a lot of firepower to shoot at it i couldn't shoot at it in turn four because he it wasn't the closest model there was a rhino here and that's why i couldn't shoot at it and we needed turn five if we would have ended the battle points wise yalmar would have won but uh, because uh, there is no enemy force left on the battlefield the uh, victory is going to me um was a good battle uh but we had a lot of, well, I had a lot of luck. I think the Emperor's Light did shine upon me because my rolls were good. I had a lot of um, random rolls for the amount of shots. I had a lot of shots and I hit a lot with them. And Yalmar didn't roll his save. So if we rolled average, the battle would have gone completely different than we had now. Then again, uh, I learned a few things about how to deploy my army again. I did deploy it a bit too much forward so he could charge into it more easily than, uh, than expected uh, from my side. And that's the biggest thing. Uh, what I did was I put my um, scout sentinels forward to deny the deep strike to get closer than I wanted. But uh, then his uh, demon and his hounds got uh, charged in here which I didn't want and they they got my units in close combat also with the piling or with the consolidation so yeah that's about it for the battle uh, thanks again for watching uh, as you can see uh, it's the end of the evening so we need to clean up and yeah if you're not uh, not yet um, subscribe to the channel please subscribe if you have any questions or any uh, remarks or whatever just uh, just say it in the comments and i will reply to you thanks again for watching see you guys next time